Hey guys, um, little vlog entry on a rainy Saturday afternoon in late June 2017. Currently, um, I'm focusing on getting ready for the Toronto Outdoor Art Exhibition, which is July 14th, 15th, and 16th. Um, I've got about two and a half weeks left to prepare for this. I've been grinding out hard in the studio every night, um, uh, all weekends for the last month and a bit. Um, starting to get worn down a little bit, but it's good. Um, creatively, I feel really good. I've got a lot of good ideas coming up. Um, I'm excited about these guys. If you take a look at these four birds in particular, um, I've got a, a bunch of birds. So my, my booth, um, is a 10 by 10 tent and I'm thinking of having, well, I've planned to have eight 24 by 24s on each wall and on the back wall, when you enter the booth straight in, there's going to be two 48 by 48s. So a couple of big guys, uh, which I haven't actually started. Well, I've started, I've done all the prep work and the masking and they're stretched. The sketches are done. I just have to lay some paint down. These will be more uh, more in the realm of uh, my uh, what I'm pretty much known for, sort of like hyper realist, expressionist realism. Um, not a lot of texture, just you know, well drawn, um, nicely rendered paint painterly paintings of foxes. There's two foxes and they're they're climbing they're climbing in trees. Uh, these I, I found these images online. I've altered them so they're not a direct um, they're not a direct copy of the images that I found. Um, they were actually in video a video that I was watching of a fox running around in a tree. So I've I've tried to make them as much as I could my own, um, and I'm excited. I mean the t the tire tracks on this one and ha have really ha have really added something. I think. I mean, you see the three-dimensionality of the branches. So I added some shading around it just to add a, a feel of depth and volume to the pieces. And the, I like how the randomness of the tire tracks kind of form the bark. Same for this one. This one I, I'm, I'm super excited for too. The directionality of the, the tire tracks really adds a feeling of movement, I think. That's a train, so I hope I'm not getting drowned out. So those are the two big ones that I'm gonna have, but when you walk in the booth on each side, you're gonna see uh, eight on each side. So I'm gonna have them four and four, and I've kind of sectioned them out into different styles. So these ones are the ones that I just completed yesterday, and I think these ones are gonna be pretty successful uh, just because of the graffiti, and it's something that I think is trending now. I mean, I've been doing it for a few years in my paintings referencing local graffiti. So it's it's not something that's new for me or something that I'm following uh, because of a trend. I've actually been exploring the idea for about four years. Um, I just didn't know how to implement it into my animals without it looking like... There's, there's a few other painters I've seen that have graffiti directly on the animals and I didn't want to do the same thing. I wanted it to look like um there's sort of a crumbling um society that used to exist or something you know like age i want it to look like there's age and the animals part of it and the three-dimensionality of it is is something i really wanted to start doing in my work and i've made vlogs before where i had sort of the 3d elements of the dirt and um organic uh materials to create that depth and the texture that i painted on but i think adding this element of sort of humanity goes along well with the tire tracks it sort of references urban life uh development uh decay um you know how we we have and right outside my window i've shown you before there's just construction constantly going on you know condos are being torn down and built up and that really resonates with my work. It's all about um, industrialization and development and sort of putting nature on a back burner. We just kind of constantly um, building on top of it instead of building within it. So 
that I think works with these in a sense, kind of a clear message. And I think they're visually stunning. I'm, I'm very happy with how they look. I was a little apprehensive to do it. Um, not to toot my own horn too much, but I, I think these ones are kind of successful. I think this one might be a little bright, so I think I'm going to age it. But I've also, that's another, bring up another point, another point. I tried to age the concrete, so I, I painted tags that, um, are representative to my neighborhood. So I, I do a lot of photography as well. Um, and I'm not directly, um, ripping the tags. I'm just sort of, um, using them as reference and not making them my own, but, you know, celebrating it in a little bit, but also showing that it, 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 it is a kind of um, element of urban society. The, the tag is everywhere. You see it, any city place, any city, uh, you know, dense city population area, there, there's tags and graffiti everywhere or street art. So I think that helps to it. It's not a negative thing. It's just an element of urbanization that goes with the tire track. So I'm super happy with these and hopefully they're received well and I don't piss off any uh, writers out there. And if I do, well, I mean, you put it out there. So, and then I've got these birds, which are more simplistic. This one's not done. Um, these are more of sort of my uh, more traditional well traditional but sort of what i've come accustomed to painting so this one's not done i'm going to add some elements some uh bark or something to add a little punch to it uh here's another owl this is the first owl that i did with the graffiti and i'm super happy with this guy this guy looks sick um and then i've got some of these guys which are really cool like little pine nut and some some moss to go with it I mean it's a very basic composition uh, very clean and and calm it'd be nice just to have in your house to look at just you know nothing too crazy and then this guy who's pretty good looking as well and I put some lilacs those are lilacs that my son picked for me this year so it's kind of sentimental and here's another one with the same lilac so my son picked these lilacs to me and I put them in my painting <laughs> not to be too uh sappy but so that's what i've been doing um yeah work's busy i'm still matte painting at the office uh we're working on some big hollywood stuff i can't say <laughs> but uh i will mention it possibly in my next vlog depending on when we start the project uh, but it's big. It's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna be doing some digital paintings for that movie and then um, So once the out outdoors next weekend, actually I will be in Algonquin at The artist center there. It's the 150th anniversary of Tom Thompson. They've actually um, They actually put in two one or two original Tom Thompson's work so I'm, theoretically technically in a group show with Tom Thompson which I'm ecstatic about um, so that's next weekend and it's open to the public so if any of you are in the neighborhood and want to go to Algonquin next Saturday I will be there along with many other amazing artists that are represented by the gallery um, and then the following weekend Nathan Phillips Square uh, Friday Saturday Sunday it's going to be a gong show. I'm not sure what booth I'm in. I should know this. I should have checked it before I did my vlog. But if you go to the website, Toronto Outdoor Art Exhibit, you can look me up in the artist profile and I'll tell you your booth. I know there's a middle section uh, that they've designed this year. I'll be in the middle section there along with some of my other good friends. Um, so I'll be there. So come visit me if you want to see these guys on live action. Um, there'll be 16... 24 by 24 birds and I have a couple extra in inventory right now that are at a gallery So if I sell I'll try and have more and then the two big guys over here. So the booth should be Should be stacked. I'm excited. Um, so look for that name. Oh, it's reversed um, yeah, that's pretty much all I've got. Um, so let me know. Shoot me a message or go to my Instagram uh, at Daniel Cinema. 
Um, or go to my website. It's www.stamant.com. And I will have all of this stuff documented and up on the website by the end of the next week. Um, shoot me a message. DM me on Facebook. DM me on Instagram. And uh, yeah, wish me luck. It's going to be a long two weeks, but it's well worth it. I love it. I'm super happy. Uh, I've usually been behind the eight ball on these outdoor shows because it's, it's hard to keep up. But this year I was really motivated and I was inspired. So I'm extremely happy with what I've done. So thank you guys for watching and uh, I'll be back in touch with you soon. Bye. Have a nice weekend and happy Canada Day 150.